<laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hey. Oh, hello, boss. Oh, did you stay up all night again? Bad boy. Health is wealth. You have to be consistent. Binge eating and lack of sleep are very bad for your health. But, but I'm almost done. You have to get some rest. Come over here. Oops. Here, get some rest while you lie on my lap. <sighs> oh, he's already asleep. <laughs> Good boy. You've done great. I'm an SS. I don't give a When did... <laughs> he's now only two heads high. <laughs> My name is Tayori Akasaka. I'm a programmer working for a small game company. And she is Fumino Yabumi. She's the CEO of our company. As you can see, she's very kind and like a mother for all of us. Hey, hey, did Tayori stay up all night again? Ugh, what are we gonna do with him? The employees working for her company are all very unique and free-spirited, so it's easy for us to go separate ways. But our CEO is here to bring all of us together. She's also one of the unique employees working here. Her name is Mrs. Egokoro. She's an illustrator. She's basically a genius who draws stunning illustrations at the speed of light. Her hobby is to draw illustrations, and she's so obsessed with drawing to the point that she's always drawing whenever she has time. And this quiet person here is called Mrs. Tsuzuri. Like Mrs. Egokoro, she's very unique and works as the scriptwriter here, and she's also a genius. <sighs> And I'm just an ordinary programmer who's surrounded by these geniuses. I just happen to work at a company where two geniuses work, and the company requires me to finish the same workload as them. And the consequences were... that I got addicted to energy drinks. I, I can't work as fast as the two of you, so I have to spend extra time to catch up with all the work. But you shouldn't push yourself too hard. She's shaking her head, though. Yeah, it's gonna be problematic if you get sick from overwork. A small delay won't be such a problem. You think so too, right, Tazuti? So you think he's supposed to meet the deadline risking his health? Silent and we have no idea what you're thinking, but seems like you're harsh on the inside. Ah, that's pretty horrible, huh? But she's right. I won't be able to forgive myself if I slow all of us down. Our game was a huge hit and won the Sarubedo of the Year Award. We're on a roll right now. We can't delay the release of our new game. You don't have to work so hard. Look, our game will be a hit no matter what. Don't worry, relax, and take a break for now. <sighs> You're so dependable. Hmm? What's the matter? As expected from a CEO who brings these two geniuses together. At the same time, I can't help but question my worth at this company. I feel so pathetic. I want to be a worker who she can depend on. To be completely honest with you, I have a crush on her. How can I not fall in love when she spoils me like this all the time? I want her to spoil me more. No, that's not it. I, I don't want to be spoiled. I want to be a guy who she can depend on. But there's another problem. Does she see me as her potential boyfriend? Is it possible for her to have feelings for me? Good boy. Does she think I'm a little kid? <sighs> Most likely. I have no other choice to start our relationship anew and make her see me as her potential boyfriend. 
I'm going to confess my feelings for her. Fortunately, her birthday is coming up. I'll prepare some gifts for her and confess to her. What a good idea. The mood is an important factor. For example, we can have a birthday party to make her feel excited. How about we plan a surprise party? But without a good plan, a surprise party could cause unexpected consequences. So I gave it some more thought and... Miss? Hmm? What's up? How about we have a drinking party? A drinking party? It sounds fun! Ms. Egokoro, Ms. Tsuzuri, what do you think? How about next Saturday? Sure thing! Let's do this. Great, they both seem excited. Saturday? I'll make a reservation for the drinking party on Saturday! <sighs> I guess the two of them realized what day that is. Yes, it's the CEO's birthday next Saturday. <laughs> I'm all set. We'll have so much fun during the party, and when she's all pumped up at the end, I'll confess my feelings for her. Where did you get that? Saturday, the day Akasaka suggested we have a party. It's my birthday. <laughs> I bet they're planning to celebrate my birthday. Oh, all of them are my precious teammates, so I know what they have on their minds. They're all very nice people. I have known Egokoro and Suzuri since college. They were famous as geniuses, and people weren't necessarily fond of them. On the other hand, I... Did you draw this illustration? You're great! It's beautiful! Wow! Did you write this novel? It was so interesting! I want to read more of your writings! I was simply their friend. You're great, really. Uh-huh. What do you mean? Are you not worried about how others might think of you by being with us weirdos? Not really. I'm here because it's fun to spend time with you both. I don't care what other people think of me. Gosh, you look so soft and gentle, but you actually have nerves of steel, huh? Hmm, do you think so? <sighs> like this, I grew closer to them, and I started to think that I wanted more people to enjoy their masterpiece. So I decided to establish a game company, but I realized that I didn't have a programmer, despite having a great illustrator and scriptwriter with me. When I was looking for new recruits, Nice to meet you. Akasaka came to our interview. He's diligent, determined, and very hardworking. He tends to overwork when I don't check on him, so I can't keep my eyes off of him. And the first game we created together was approved by many. I remember feeling so happy. Now I know that my teammates are planning to celebrate my birthday. I have to live up to their expectations. <laughs> Maybe I should prepare a sash and some pretty hats. Oh, I'm so excited. On Saturday... When I arrived at the restaurant where we booked, the CEO was already there. She even had a party hat on her head with a sash over her shoulder that said, Birthday Girl. She held a party popper in each hand, too. She was clearly excited for today. <laughs> I knew that you were all planning to celebrate my birthday today. I thought you guys wouldn't be able to enjoy the party to its fullest if I didn't look like I'm having so much fun. To make sure we all have a great time, I even prepared party hats for each one of you. Uh, so where are the other two, Akasaka? Uh, they won't be coming. Uh-huh. They're not coming. Awkward. Yay! Happy birthday, miss! Congratulations! Here is your birthday cake! Wait a minute. Um, did we bring it to the wrong room? Huh? But I think this is the right room. And look, 
there's someone over there who looks wearing a party hat and a sash that says birthday girl. Uh, go, go! Awkward. Um, may I ask why? Actually, they just called and... Sorry, I, I caught a cold. <laughs> um, can you at least say something? Mm, urgent business. Did Miss Tsuzuri just speak? Go to hell. Wow, that's harsh. So that's why I'm here alone. I... I see. <laughs> this is too painful. It's my first time seeing someone so excited, but there's only me at her birthday party. This is too much. <laughs> her excitement disappeared long ago. She now looks like a sad emoji. No wonder she's feeling so upset. <laughs> Increasing levels of sadness. This is not good. I was planning to have a big birthday party and once I got to be alone with her, I was going to confess as I gave her the gift I prepared for her birthday. But there's no way I can do that now. My poor her. <sighs> what should I do now? To be honest, I was really excited. I was so happy to know that everyone cared for me and loved me. As the CEO, I have to go hard on them sometimes, so I always thought they might hate me for it. So I was on cloud nine, assuming that they had a birthday party planned for me. But maybe, maybe, they hated me. They stood up on me at the same time. There is no doubt, they actually hated me. But here I am, preparing a special sash, wearing a party hat, holding party poppers in both of my hands. <laughs> How humiliating. I could die from embarrassment. But Akasaka is here. Thinking back, it was Akasaka who planned this drinking party. I bet he was being considerate and planned this party for me because he has a very kind soul. M Miss, please cheer up. Uh, I'll celebrate twice as hard on behalf of the others. Akasaka? I knew he was kind, so I really don't want him to feel pressured. You don't have to do this for me. You don't have to celebrate my birthday just because I'm the CEO and your boss. I don't mind. It's okay. But... Huh? What's going on? Happy birthday, our beloved CEO! What? Why are you two here? <laughs> we were planning to surprise you. It took us more time than we expected to get ready, and we knew we won't be arriving on time, so we decided to pretend like we stood up on you and surprise you by our grand appearance. <laughs> right, Tazuri? <laughs> oh, you, you could have told me beforehand. Sorry, we were really planning to arrive on time, believe me. <laughs> uh, hey, are you okay? Are, are you crying out of happiness? Um, I'm sorry, I, I thought you all hated me. <laughs> No, no, 
no, wait, what are you saying? We absolutely love you! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but I bet you felt lucky being able to spend time with her alone. No, it was just awkward. <laughs> then you should have just arrived on time, not coming up with this surprise plan. See, she was literally in tears. Oh, really? I thought you took advantage of the fact that you were alone with her and confessed already. What? What? Huh? Am I wrong? Oh, I thought you were going to confess to her on her birthday. Why, why do you know that? Hey! Tazuri told me. How did she know? I haven't told anyone. Tazuri told me that she found birthday present confession in your search history. I could die of embarrassment right now. First of all, why did she use my computer without my permission? A confession to me? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad she looks happier now, but now I'm too anxious to enjoy this birthday party. Just like that, the birthday party ended in success. Ah, forget it. Let's dig into the cake first. <sighs> See ya. I'm taking Tazuri home. So, now I'm all alone with her. Uh, that was a great party. Thank God both of them came. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, Ms. Yabuki. Uh, yes? I think you already got the idea, but I have a crush on you. Here, it's a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Do you mind if I open it now? <laughs> of course. Wow, what a cute mug! It has our company logo on it. Mm, I'll cherish it. And uh, about how you feel about me? Oh, um, so, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't like you. I actually love you so much. Wait, what am I saying? Th then why? I love everyone and they're all important to me. I thought it might be unfair if I treat you like someone special. I'm aware that I'm already taking extra care of you specifically. Huh? Really? Yes, you're the only one I allow to lie on my lap. Am I special to her? You're very hardworking, and I just can't take my eyes off of you, nor leave you alone. It makes me want to spoil you whenever I see you. Maybe I have a crush on you too, but if I became your date, I'll fall for you even harder, and I'll probably want to treat you like you're special to me, not like any other, so... Okay. I'm sorry. Then I'll try to be a guy you'll want to spoil more, so you won't be able to resist the urge to accept me as your special one. What? I've been trying to become a more dependable guy, but I guess I was wrong. I should work less so that you could spoil me more. Oh gosh, that's not what I meant though. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early to give up yet. It's my goal to become a useless guy. Oh, that's a sudden change in direction. And I think you can be my role model, Ms. Tsuzuri. You neglect your health, have a corrupt daily routine, and you're basically useless outside of work. So I plan to become a useless person, like you, Ms. Tsuzuri. Hey, hey, Tsuzuri's getting angry! <laughs> oh, they're having fun without me. 